Lord of the Rings fans, I'm Ryan the Cyber Hobbit. Smog, the Fire Drake, is here. Yes, 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 yes. Really big box. I got a lot to do. Let's get to it. To set up the base, there are no instructions, but it's pretty self-explanatory. There are color-coded spots that correspond to the colors in the bottom of each tree, and the stumps have a unique key that only allows you to insert it one way. Now let's talk about the base. Front and center, we have one of the two dwarvish stone giants that guard the entrance to Erebor. And this looks excellent. The sculpt is accurate to what was shown in the films. A very nice stone texture with a gray and sometimes greenish hue paint job. I really like the axe and his smaller sword on the side. There's various cracks and blemishes all over it that you would assume have accrued over the years. Really helps to sell the idea that the statue has been standing guard for centuries. Towards the back you can see how he's actually part of the mountain and was carved from it because there's a good chunk of the mountain itself. There's a very clear cutoff where you can see Weta decided to take their circular chunk. I'm glad they actually finished it instead of just having a black back like they tend to do with some of their environments and hobbit holes. Going along the perimeter of the base, there are various trees and tree stumps. A few you can see have been presumably destroyed by Smog himself. The rocky ground looks great and even has some burn marks. If I'm trying to be critical, I'm not the biggest fan of the sculpt of the trees. But then again, I think they had to strike a balance between trying to make something that won't break easily and having lots of branches. So in that regard, I think it's fine. Winding through the middle is a little stream of water. I think it's pretty well sculpted, with little ripples here and there and splashes as it hits certain rocks. The paint application is somewhat of a dark blue hue, with dashes of white for the splashes and foam. It's got somewhat of a glossy clear coat to help make it look like it's actual water and reflect any light that's cast on it.
This looks great. Being extremely careful, as this is pretty heavy, if you lift it up, you can see the sculptor and edition size on the bottom. Gary Hunt. Great job, Gary. Attaching smog is pretty straightforward. There are four pieces, his body, two wings, and tail. The main key on smog is large and metal, and once in the base, it feels very sturdy. And the same thing goes for both wings. There is absolutely no wobble and it doesn't feel flimsy at all. That being said, I wouldn't test it. So now let's talk about smog by starting with the head. Trying to be 100% honest, my initial reaction is that while I do think most of the head is sculpted and painted well, I'm not a big fan of the teeth. They seem a bit lacking in some paint application, and perhaps they should be a bit longer? So straight up, some of the teeth are not painted fully. I guess you could say he has long gums or maybe some gingivitis going on but maybe that's just me trying to make up an excuse. Something to keep in mind, I am zoomed in on a 4K resolution DSLR camera, so this issue isn't near as noticeable in person, but it is there. Now I know having long and pointy teeth might be an issue of being prone to break easy, but they do seem a bit longer in the film. I'm not really that disappointed in the length as I am with the paint application, but I thought I'd mention it. The rest of his head is absolutely wonderful though. His tongue is all nasty and purple and his eyes are sharp and menacing. All the spiky parts of his head look great and the variation of color as it continues up his neck is really cool. The rest of his body and torso is covered in scales of various sizes and shapes. And the paint application looks great too. Multiple layers of different hues of yellows and reds. There's a very nice transition. I'm happy to say his torso does also have the missing scale where Bard was able to miraculously hit him with the black arrow, so that's pretty neat. I also noticed I unfortunately seem to have a couple of tiny spots where the paint has chipped off. Perhaps that happened when they were doing some test fittings with the wings. It's not too noticeable, but it is there. There's no getting around the seams where the wings are attached. This had to be. But I will say I don't understand why the section right under his wings is much smoother. Up close it does stand out a bit and even seems to have a slightly different paint saturation. I do really like his winding tail. The variations of color and black spots are all really well done. Yes, there is a visible seam in the tail, but at least it's at the bottom, so it's not as prominent. I also really like the creative choice to have him attached to the base with his tail instead of just standing on it. It lets them make it seem as though he's in flight instead of just perched. His legs and feet are also well done. I like the multiple layers of paint starting from the yellow to reddish orange, followed by some black dry brushing. Nice glossy black claws. really cool. The seams on his back for the wings are much less visible than the underside, especially his right wing. It basically disappears. Speaking of his wings, I try not to curse on my channel, but 
holy shit. They are absolutely huge. It just keeps going. These are incredibly well done. The texture and paint application looks wonderful. All going to a black point. Really cool. If you didn't know, very similar to how they are in bats, based on Smog's depiction, it's assumed that the lines spanning across his wings are actually his finger bones, and that's why they're directly attached to his hands. Again, the paint application and dry brushing really make this. Very well done. I love how you can also see little veins everywhere across his wings. And they're even more prominent at the base of the wing. So cool. The wings are definitely my favorite feature of this statue, and live up to the name Smog the Magnificent. Final thoughts. What an incredible statue. Nothing's perfect, and this is an example of that, as it does have some flaws. But where this statue shines, it really shines. It's incredibly dynamic, and is really effective at catching your eye. Yes, I wish some parts were better, like his teeth and the areas under his wings. But until you get really close, those issues aren't really that noticeable. The base he stands on is outstanding, minus the sculpt of the trees, but again I understand why they're done that way. I think they're really important in helping to give a sense of scale to Smog. The giant stone dwarf under him is wonderful and painted really well. And again, my favorite part are the wings as they convey a sense of power and truly capture the essence of this legendary dragon. I give this statue a 9 out of 10. Job well done, Weta. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing or pressing the like button. Until next time, bye bye.